Well, spring has sprung, or has it? The sun's in the sky and you're thinking about cutting your lawn for the first time. Here's a few tips on how to do it. Well, I don't know about your lawn, but ours has taken an absolute battering over the winter. Nearly as much of a battering as uh, Bob over here, right? We've been using it for a bit of a martial arts area, so we've got all muddy, compacted ground in front of us. Um, We've got bare patches in the shade. We've got everything, weeds, long grass, short grass, no grass at all. We've got it all going on really. So before we start mowing for the first time this year, we need to go over and just have a quick look at things. Now, I went over and I picked up the bits of debris off the lawn. Don't worry about leaves and things like that. They just get picked up by the mower. But anything that's hard, we've got a few twigs here that came off the ground some bits of plastic that are from some Christmas lights that were left over and some random piece of wood. I think that might be some kindling from the fire. Why that's outside on the grass, I'll never know, but there you go, these things happen. So what do we do first? We clear all this off, we'll move Bob out of the way. I'll show you a quick look at the lawn, you can see how rough it is. And then we'll have a quick trim around the edge and tidy it up before we start mowing. As if by magic then, here I am with the strimmer fitted and ready to go. Um, you saw the state of the lawn. Well, it's not even lawn, is it? It's just grass and mud, really. That's all it is. But we're trying, going to try and get it in some sort of shape. And by that, we'll strim around the outside first. We've cut this loads of times before, so we can strim around. We know exactly where we've got to go with the strimmer. That flicks all the grass onto the, the grassed area or the lawn. And then from there, we can go over with the mower and we can pick all that up. And we'll talk a bit more about the mowing when we get to it. But now we're going to give it a blast of the strimmer. I know with this harness on, I look like five pound of sugar in a two pound bag. You can tell it's the start of the season. I've got a bit of winter weight, but I'm sure I'll shift it as we go on through the year. Um, these strimmers, they're battery ones, they're just they're light as a feather, they're nice and quiet. You can fire it up and you hardly hear any noise. Before I do fire it up though, remember, safety glasses are as a minimum. If you can wear an ARB helmet, that would be better. If not, just normal safety glasses will do. And make sure they are. And that's your strimmer running, quiet as anything really. So the only difference is with some of these electric ones, like the Steger one I'm using today, the head spins, um, clockwise I think not anti-clockwise so I have to vary the way I walk round normally I'd walk round that way no this time I've got to walk round the other way so it flicks the grass onto the lawn and not onto the patio and the path around the edge right I'll get started and hopefully uh, we'll make a bit of a difference Well, we had a quick whiz round the lawn, didn't we? And that was great. So easy with these battery things now, just put them on and away you go. Talking of battery equipment, we've got this mower here. We've had this on long-term test, and this is the one we'll cut the grass with today. Now, I hope your mower's looking a little bit cleaner than this, and at the end of the season, you cleaned it all down and popped it away in your shed or garage or wherever you keep it, or even if it's outside, try and keep it under cover. However, we do a lot of testing for mower manufacturers and this one's been outside. We've had this mower for 12 months and it's never been inside, funnily enough. It sits outside in all weathers, rain, sleet, snow, ice, it's had everything thrown at it. As long as you keep the battery sort of inside and out the worst of the frost, it should be fine. Now, we charged this one up earlier and I've got four green lights on there, so we know that's good to go. Um, I did plug it in and I just spun the mower up just to make sure it would start, which it did. So you're safe in the knowledge that, you know, if you ever do leave yours out in the rain, all these on here are protected. Um, I wouldn't advise leaving it out for 12 months like I do, but we test them for these people so they get real world sort of feedback on these things. So really, before you start the mowing for the first time, make sure your mower's fairly clean, make sure there's nothing in the grass box, hedgehogs and stuff like to get into these little places and hide out little mice. So just have a, a quick look in there, make sure there's nothing and it's all clear. Um, your battery's fully charged, of course, your wheels and everything all move as they should and spin round, and then you're ready to go. The only thing you've got to look at really is the height of the mower. Now, when you cut in for the first time, we don't want to get straight back down to where we sort of you know, were in the summer last year when it was a nice, lovely striped lawn. We need to leave it a little bit long. We've got, you know, spring is here, the sun's out, but 
Well, there's a just right on cue then, the wind starts blowing, the roses behind me. It's a chilly breeze. And, and we're also, you know, still due frosts for another few weeks at least yet. So we don't go crazy with the grass, trying to get it down low. We just like to nip the tops off and encourage some growth. So if you lift the cutting height up from your normal one, maybe one or two. If you're not taking hardly anything off on some places like over here, it's quite long. We've got longer grass uh, towards the middle where we've been using it as martial arts area. It's quite short and flattened out, so we might not take anything off there at all. If you feel you can lower it a little bit, do that, but please be careful. The rule of thumb is about a third to a half. I normally go about a quarter on the first cut, maybe a little bit more on this area up here. We might chop that in half really because um, tends to grow well but like where we are in the shade and things we leave that a little bit longer right we'll fire up the mower and we'll run it over and see how it works out Okay, well, I've done the first cut, and you know what? I might have been a little bit overcautious on this. I know we said we don't want to take it down too low because of frost and things, but I got that on a, a number four, I think, and I went up and down, and yeah, it looks all right, but my goodness, it's still long. We've got a lot of length on there, a lot of length, really. So, and also a lot of length on there, and not a lot of debris in the grass box either. There's <laughs> More, more leaves than any grass clippings, and the grass clippings that have come off are quite short. So what I think I'm going to do is knock it down to number three, which I think it's on now, and I'll just cut it again, and uh, hopefully we should be there or thereabouts with that one. Well, that's that done then. The first cut, or should I say the first two cuts are done and out of the way. Um, the grass is a little bit longer than I thought in some places and a lot shorter in other places. And you know what? I know it looks all right in the photographs and the videos, but there's not a lot of grass coverage on here at all. Um, when we look in the grass box at what we've got, we've got a lot of leaves from the oak tree. We've got some grass clippings, various lengths. And look at this we've got a lot of mud and dirt. Um, that's just been picked up from the ground as we're going over. Now, when you're cutting for the first time, I did mean to say, make sure you've got a sharp blade on or a new blade if you can. And um, it, it will just aid the, uh, the sort of pickup of these things as we're going through. We have picked up a lot of mud and we weren't cutting low to the ground, were we? So imagine if you drop the height down on there, you're going to pick up all sorts of bits and pieces you didn't want. Also, when I was going over there as well, even though I've been over and picked it before, I did find another couple of little sticks and another plastic bit off my Christmas lights. So always uh, be mindful of that when you're mowing and, and what height you're mowing at. But now we've got the first couple out of the way, we can sort of try and revive this lawn. I think in reality, we'll probably have to do a full renovation on this. So keep your eyes peeled for the videos on that and, and we'll see how it works out because there's not a lot of grass on here. But You've done it, that's it, you've done it, you've started the season off, leave it now. The grass is sort of laid down a little bit. We have got a faint stripe in there, but the stripe is caused by the, the, the lawnmower going in different directions, pushing the grass over, gives you the nap of the grass. Some lawnmowers have a flap on the back and some have a rear roller. A rear roller is better, it gives a better finish uh, on there, and a cylinder mower is better than a rotary mower, but for first cut, I probably always use a rotary because there's a lot of dirt and grime and all the other bits and pieces that you pick up. So a rotary is a bit more robust than a cylinder. And you save yourself a lot of time and hassle um, regrinding all those cylinder blades and the bed knife if you've got a lot of dirt going between them. So that's it. It's all done. I'm chuffed with it, really. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give me the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you can. Anything nice to say, pop it in the comment section below. Anything you want to ask me or anything else you want to see, just let me know as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Jimmy the Mower. I'll catch you on the next one.